Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another episode of I Am Out Of Control. Kicking off another no buy week, I have five new rare house plans to show you today. I know I need help, I need professional assistance. I am working on it. So I have a few interesting things to show you. I think everything I have is philodendron. Yes, every single thing I have is philodendron. I'm getting a little bit obsessed with philodendron. I think they've actually become my favorite genus or type of houseplant. It's overtaken alocasia, it's overtaken calathea, like it is a serious problem I need stopped. So all of the plants featured in this haul are from the Tropical Plant Company. I know I buy from there a lot, but they have a really, really great selection of rare stuff that to be quite honest, I can't really find anywhere else. I will leave a link down below to all of the house plants that I'm hauling in this video. So you guys can just go straight to the seller's Etsy and buy them if you wish, because I know last time a couple of people had confusion over where to buy them from. So hopefully this video clears that up. And if you wish to buy any of these plants, you can head on straight to Etsy, click that link and away you go. So I guess I'll just kick off with the one that's actually in the pot and it is this guy. This is actually one of my favorites. This is, I actually have a little tag to show you what it actually is. And can you read that? You may not be able to read that on camera. I'm not really sure. But this is the Philodendron Subhastatum. It is really nice. Please do not confuse this with Philodendron Hastatum. That is slightly different. I will insert right now a picture here of what a Philodendron Hastatum looks like. It tends to be a lot more bluey silver in appearance and it most certainly does not have this on the bottom. Let me try my best. Oh, that should focus there, actually. I'm quite confident that's focusing. How amazing is that, man? It's just a little baby right now. It's in quite a small pot, to be honest. It's not huge, but the leaves themselves are actually quite massive. I'll do a head comparison because it looks like that's the standardized unit of measurement in a lot of these videos. There you go. The leaves are quite reasonable compared to my head. So, oh no, soil. Mm. So this has fast become one of my favorites already. As I say, it's absolutely stunning beautiful long green leaves and this wonderful red underside that to be honest matches my hoodie so i'm pretty pleased about that also can we please ignore my really really bad fingernails i made the executive decision to cut my fingernails down if anybody does not know i'm actually a programmer that's what i do for a living so i got sick of hitting the wrong keys when i typed i've cut my nails they're really too short now i don't like it they look stumpy let's just ignore it so i'm gonna put this little fillow back in here uh, if anybody wants to know where I got these uh, wooden tags, by the way, I'll just show you now because there's only one of the plant with these tags in. Is that focusing? That doesn't look to me like it's focusing. I will leave an Amazon link down below. They are literally just a wooden stake like that that you pop in. There's something quite nice about having a name tag in the plant. I don't know why that is. There is no reason in the world why I need name tags, but here we are, name tag. So yes, Philodendron subhastatum. Okay, so the next plant I have in my plant haul is the Philodendron Moonlight. This one is unbelievably pretty. It's really like, I wanna say it's chunky, right? Now I know that doesn't really make any sense, but if you look at the stems on this, sorry, it does need a bit of a clean, that's my own fault. They're just, they're chunky, you know what I'm saying? They're meaty. Really, really nice, pretty, bright, beautiful philodendron. Kind of in a similar, you know, color scheme, if you will, as the Painted Lady that I hauled a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, so a new leaf right there, looking very beautiful. This one is very, very pretty. I really, really like this. That leaf is massive as well. Quick little head test. Pretty big, pretty big leaf. So let's put this. I don't think I can really lean plants very well today because I, honestly, I don't really have any equipment here. I have makeup brushes. You know, if I'd brought a plant pot, oh, hang on a minute, I've got an idea. I could probably, there we go, sorted. Right, next plant, it kind of has to be this one. This is a biggie. I'm like super impressed with the size of this. I didn't think when I ordered it, it was going to be this big, but it is absolutely huge. This is quite an interesting one. Let me see if I can get it in the frame properly and we're trying not to screw up my microphone. So I like to call this plant the Philodendron Cardinal Beauty. It is actually a hybrid of two plants. It is a hybrid of the Philodendron Florida Beauty mixed with the Philodendron Black Cardinal. So I will give you a good close-up inspection of these leaves because they are most awesome. I think this one might be the easiest to show you. It's really difficult, by the way, to actually get this on camera. Can you see that? This is not the best plant to show you on camera because as I say, it's huge. It's got really quite a large span of leaves. It is super tall, guys. Like, obviously these plants are a little bit more compact at the minute because that's how they've been sent in the mail. But they will obviously, as soon as they're planted up and they're just given some room, they will just poof back out and relax. But this one is so, so gorgeous. I'm in love with this. Oh, we didn't do a head test. Should we do it with this one here? There. 
that's the size of a leaf. Huge, huge, huge leaves on these plants, very substantial plants. It's why I order from Tropical Plant Company. You always get something pretty substantial when you order from them. Again, rooted in sphagnum moss, very, very healthy, no doubt, root system. Granted, I have not checked, but the plant is in perfect health, so I can only assume the root system is in great health as well. Where shall I put that? Right then, the last two plants I've actually brought an old plant back from the last plant haul I did just to kind of give you some perspective on this because if you remember in my last plant haul, if you haven't seen it, please go and watch it. I actually featured a plant in my last plant haul that myself and Ben from Tropical Plant Company weren't 100% sure what it was. We've since spoken to Enid from NSA Tropicals and with the help of, to be honest, a couple of people, we've kind of decided what it is that I have. So I will pull this back up for you and then I will go into the other two plants I've got because they kind of connect the dots, if that makes any sense. So wait a minute. So here we are from uh, from the last plant haul. And if, yeah, you can see this fine. This is what myself and Ben thought was the Philodendron Atabapoense. I can say it now, I've been doing a lot of practice, but it's actually not, okay? What we actually think it is, is a hybrid of Atabapoense and Philodendron bilitae, okay? We think this is a hybrid of both. That is a few people's professional opinion, to be honest. So that's what we're gonna go with. I like to call it Billy Pensy, so that's kind of my name for it. This is the new leaf that I actually showed in the plant hall a couple of weeks ago. It has gotten massive. This is the just tiny little one that was growing in. It's pretty much, it's not fully sized, but it's it's really getting there. So yes, I wanted to clear that up. I told you guys I would update you if I knew anything new, and I do, and there you go, there's your update. So, what are the last two plants? The first plant that I have to haul and to show you is the Philodendron Pilati. <laughs> You can probably see where this is going. As I mentioned in my last video, a regular philodendron bilitae is much more green in color. I don't know if it's going to come off on camera. No, they look kind of the same like level of green, but honestly in person, this to me looks much brighter. Um, could be, you know, could be all in my own head. I don't know. And the stems on the bilitae, as you can see there, are bright orange. I think they can possibly get a little bit more orange than this. I'm not really sure. It's my first bilitai. This is a new leaf that's coming in here. So that's just on its way out and is unraveling. So that's very beautiful as well. But yes, this has also been mailed to me and obviously it's sat a little bit flatter. So in a few days, it will actually just start to vine out and look a little bit more like this one because this one's definitely relaxed a lot more now since I hauled it last time. It is absolutely magnificent. Love it. I'll try and run through the differences that I can see, like visually on the plant, because it's very, very difficult. I guess the first difference I can see here, I hope this is coming off on camera, this plant is much, much more rippled and even the edges are more rippled. Also, of course, the undersides on this, you're probably not gonna be able to see very well. Maybe. They have some burgundy on the back, as I mentioned in my last video. And just generally, I don't know, they're just more rippled, I would say. That's the main difference. And of course, the stems, I can show you there are not really that orange, not compared to these anyway. The billetized stems are like really, really prominent. So I'd say that's the main difference because obviously the back of the billy there is just totally green. It doesn't have any burgundy at all. So that's the main difference I can probably sum up just on, you know, appearance of these things. So what does that leave? That's the question. So this leaves only one plant left in my rare plant haul. And I don't know if any of you figured out where this is going, but the last plant in my rare plant haul is the Philodendron Atabapoense. This is the actual Philodendron Atabapoense. Um, you may not think it looks very different, honestly. This is clearly quite juvenile compared to these guys. There is a lot of difference though, like there isn't actually any veining on these leaves yet because it's juvenile. And as I mentioned in my last plant haul video, um, the, this plant in particular changes shape a lot as it grows. I'll insert a picture now. I think what I'm basically showing you is an image on Google. I will leave the link to the image that I found. All the leaves on this image are from a Philodendron Atabapoense. The leaves like change in color, shape, size, everything pretty much. So that's what's made this very, very difficult to identify. But we know for a fact that this is the actual philodendron after Papuansi. So the more juvenile leaves are on these plants are more burgundy on the underside. And this leaf here definitely proves it. That's a lot of burgundy. If you can see it there, much, much more burgundy than the, the Billy Pensy, should we say, that has a little bit of burgundy. So 
This is the real I am. This is the real philodendron atapapuensi. This is also on Etsy as we speak. Please head over to Etsy if you want to check these out. I highly recommend them. It's, it's dinky, but it's beautiful, and it's way more rare than these two plants, as I say. So I actually think it's pretty worth it, to be honest. Mine has a new leaf coming in, so that's like a little bonus for me. I'm so sorry if this isn't focusing. I kinda had to complete this set. You need to understand about me that I just, I just can't leave something incomplete, okay? I needed to complete this set. I'm very, very happy that I did. I can honestly say now I have like the three gradients of these plants. I'm pretty happy to be honest. Oh, I'm not sure if I actually showed you this billetai up close. Sorry, that's my fault. I'll try and show you it from here. So this is the philodendron billetai. I will move slowly as I can. As such, I'll try and get some stem for y'all. These are the stems here. They are much, much more orange, as you can probably see, much, much more bright. So that's it. That is my rare plant haul. Uh, my no buy is clearly going swimmingly. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. I think I need some help. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, the links for I think every plant as of now that I know is still in stock, I will link for you down below on Etsy. Please go check them out. You'll get probably a better image than I might be able to give you on here. When I was focusing on these plants, I was looking in the viewfinder and it didn't look focused to me. So I don't know what's going on there with the camera. Maybe it was totally focused. I'm sorry if it wasn't, that's my bad. So yes, thank you very, very much for joining me in this plant haul. Uh, a quick note on rare plant indexes while I have you guys, this week's video was supposed to be a rare plant index but honestly I am so behind on everything I did not have time as I say I haven't even had time to pot these up so it's been a little bit of a struggle the next video may or may not be a rare plant index and if you want to follow any of the progress of these plants or any other plants I have then feel free to follow my Instagram at let's wet my plants thank you very very much for your time I hope we all learned a little bit of something here about these philodendron I think that's it guys please enjoy your Friday and thank you very very much for watching I will see you in the next video bye <laughs>